Hi, my name is Aaron Rhodes from Falafel Software. You're watching the Telerik Rad Editor Themes Tutorial. In this session, we're going to learn how to create a custom theme for Rad Editors so you can set duplicate properties for multiple Rad Editors very easily. During this video, there may be code examples written in either Visual Basic or C Sharp. However, the concepts are the same and code is provided for you in both languages. In this example, we're going to be customizing a RAD editor and then using those customized properties to create a theme that we can then apply to multiple editors by changing a single property. I've started by creating an ASP.NET AJAX enabled website and I've also already added the RAD spell folder for the spell check dictionary. And now I'm going to simply drag one rad editor onto the form and we're not really going to do anything with this rad editor right now we're going to concentrate on adding a new theme and then applying it so in the solution explorer I'm going to right click and then click add new ASP.NET folder and I want to move this over so you can see actually what that menu looks like and one of the selections here is a theme folder. So if we add that, it creates an app themes folder with a theme called theme one. Now here, we can add a new item, and this brings up a dialog, and we can add a skin file from here. So let's do that. And now, in our editor view, we see the skin file and we can edit this skin. Now as a starting example, I'm just going to paste in a very simple skin for our rad editor. But let's take a look at the components of this skin. First, we have a namespace and a tag prefix. This is just to identify it properly as a Telerik web UI skin. And the skin ID is called setting properties and that's going to be important because this is going to be the skin ID we use for our editor and it also has a width and height which is the only properties we're really setting in this rad editor we're also setting some content here that sets the text to setting inline properties okay so back to our default ASPX page we are going to need to go to the markup and in our page directive we're just going to add the name of the theme right here it was just called theme one and then if we go back to our designer before we do anything I'm actually going to run this so we see what it looks like before we change anything and you'll see that this is the default editor with all the default properties and the default toolbars but notice especially in this case the width of it it goes all the way about to right here on our browser because the height and the width were the only properties being set in that theme this is how we're going to see the difference so in my property editor I'm going to go to the skin ID property and this drop down will allow me to select the setting properties theme or the setting properties skin ID that is within that theme called theme one so now when we run this you'll see that it's narrowed quite a bit and it's now 500 by 500 pixels well that's great think of the possibilities that really opens up for us now I'm gonna show you a way to create a theme that's a really easy way of creating themes so you can use the designer in Visual Studio to create the theme for you and then put it into that skin file and then use it throughout for all the, your different editors. So the idea is I'm going to go into the property editor of our rad editor and change all the different things I want. So let's say we're making a website for a heavy metal band and they want lots of black and red colors. So we make a background color of black and a border color of red border style groovy 
sure. And maybe their font color is also red. We can also change that content property to say, let's get ready to rock. And maybe we want to change the tools too. So here's a good example of how we can do that. We'll create a tools collection here. And we want to allow them to spell check and set to bold and italic. And that's those are the only tools we want to allow them on this simple editor. So those tools are set and I think that's everything that we want to do. Maybe we'll change our edit modes so that only design is available. Alright, and then we'll just go to our source and right here all those properties that we just set are right here in our markup. So I'm going to copy that markup from rad editor down to the close rad editor tag. Copy to the clipboard and then go back to our skins file. And you'll see the skins file is structured the same. Well, almost the same. So I'm just going to copy over our rad editor skin in here with the rad editor from our markup. Now one difference is you can't have the ID in there the ID needs to be absent in your skin in the theme because otherwise multiple controls would have the same ID and that really wouldn't work. You do need to have the skin ID because if you use the skin ID in an editor and then don't have the same skin ID in your theme then when it gets set to this skin it will unset itself by not having a, the same skin ID. So that has to be there the same as it is in your markup. And then all of our properties and our content and our tools should all stay in here as well. So now that our skin is made, let's go back to our default.aspx. And let's do something really shocking here and just delete this editor right off the form. And then I'm going to drop two rad editors onto this form so that we can show about merging properties and setting a skin ID to multiple editors. So we have both of our editors here and in my first editor I'm going to change a property in here which is the skin property. Not to be confused with skin ID. This skin property lets you choose from the default Teller skins that are available and in this case I'll choose black and I'm not going to set it for the other one so that we can see how these properties merge. I am however going to set the skin ID to our setting properties skin within the theme and I'm going to set it again for our second editor. Now you notice since we're using these skin IDs to set the theme of these two editors it doesn't show up in our designer because these are loaded at runtime. So when we run this, we do see that all the properties are loaded when the web page loads right here. And you'll also see the difference between the look of the toolbars here is because the skins, not the skin IDs, were different between these two controls but merged into the theme that we applied to both of them. Now if you're developing a web application that has a lot of rad editors and you think those editors are going to share a lot of the same properties this can really save you a lot of development time so you don't have to set all those individual properties for each editor all you have to do is change that one property this concludes our tutorial for more information follow the links above and thanks for watching